When did you get that? Since I was born. They labeled it. It's really simple to load this on the trailer. All you do is just pick it up and set it on the trailer. I figured out a long time ago why checkbooks exist. Literally, I can just write a check and not even have the money and they take it and they're like, oh, well, I can cash it. There's no money in the account. Like, they think they're getting paid for all this. It's like, that's the cool thing about checks. It's like, no one knows if it's good. You can just write it and like, they're like, okay, thanks. Like, they think they're getting paid, but it's like, there's nothing in my account. It's funny because everyone that drives by is like looking at the R8. They're like, oh, an R8. They don't realize there's like a, tr a pickup truck being hauled on a low boy right in front of us. Yeah. The unloading process is really simple. All we do is pick it up and set it off the trailer. process of mounting the tires and shocks is really simple. Uh, all we needed was three wreckers of the crane trunk, the telehandle. We needed the other telehandle. There's 20 guys. 25 men. Monster Max 2 out here at the Farm Progress show. We're at the Titan Tire booth. So the world's largest ag tire, and that's what we're here for. It's right next to Big Bud over there, which is the world's largest tractor. Talked to him about a tug of war, and they're freaking down for it. So you may notice that there are ropes around the truck, and we didn't have ropes yesterday. Um, unfortunately, some unfortunate person decided to write their phone number on my truck. So we now have ropes around it, and I have their phone number. So um, that's all we need for that. Are they active? Uh, they have fuel in them, so 
technically, yeah, maybe. Okay, go for it. So this kid rolls up to his job like this. Where do you work? Yeah. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at him go. So that was actually your original hunting truck. Well, then, then, yeah, I, I, I bow hunt. So uh, that's what I got it for. It was just to, to hunt with. Monster Max 2 to haul cost us four to load up, four to unload, four to load up, four to unload. Uh, it wasn't always four. It was like three. 26,000. No. We're at $15,000. This is an exaggeration. We're at $15,000 in wrecker fees. So, you know, just a brisk, nice, comfortable $25,000 to haul that truck around. So, what is my life? Thank you very much for watching. Tune in next week when we point out sensitive older folks on Facebook. But yeah, uh, never a good idea to ride on someone's truck at a show. I'm not really sure um, how someone gets raised like that. So now we have to have ropes since someone ruined it for everyone. But other than that, everyone's been pretty respectful of it. So we're going to find him later and just have a little chat. Goldie! My enemy, my greatest enemy. What? Big bud. Oh, your rival? We haven't, we haven't talked this whole time. We've been just facing opposite directions. Yeah? World's hey, largest truck and the hey, world's largest tractor. Hey. So once we get duels on it, it's on. Can't wait to use this as a trailer. Yeah, all right. Cool. In Montana, right? Yeah. Central Montana. You coming to Montana? Yeah, definitely. And you've got two engines. I, I we have actually two, have two engines. Two put together. Yeah, yeah those are two uh, V8 V uh, Detroits in there. I have 16 cylinders as well. So. Oh, yeah, see, so it's almost there you go. Either, Once right? I fill my tires with water, because we are lacking a little bit of surface Wait, area. Uh, I remember why we couldn't film half the freaking time of the summer now because it's so windy. It's like this corn blocking the wind and it's like a 50 mile an hour wind every freaking day here. So this is my old house. Let's go look at the garage. Oh shoot, that fell off. Like we got some tractors now. <laughs> my grandpa takes care of the place, so nice. Oh shoot, my drywall's coming off. Kind of funny um, coming back here. I remember I added Back here, you can see that where it sticks out. I added that on when I got my truck, Monster Max. It wouldn't fit in here in the winter. So I added on to that. Me and my dad put that on there so that I could fit it in with the back bumper. I remember when I put those fertilizer spreader tires on there the first time, it was like, or when I put the skis on it. That was right out here and I didn't have any power tools because I couldn't afford like a Milwaukee impact. Everyone's like, why don't you have an impact? It's like, I, I don't have money for that. So I was out here with a ratchet and people gave me those spacers and I was so new to it that I didn't realize there's different stud uh, thread pitches. So I was out here 
put, I parked it right here, and to get it in the garage that night, I was up because I had to drive to work. I had to drive it to work in the morning, and I was driving it on skis the night before. Anyways, so I was laying in a snowdrift. I couldn't afford like little Milwaukee lights, so I had my phone flashlight in the snowdrift, and I'm laying there ratcheting with a breaker bar on these. Um, I'm ratcheting with a breaker bar on all these lug nuts because they're all cross threaded as hell, and there's like 45 of them. And uh, I remember the breaker bar was just one of my grandpa's. So the, the pin kept falling out on the, the end of it and it like fell in the snow and I'm out like trying to put this pin in my phone light, my phone dies and I'm just like, like what is my life? It's weird seeing the, the uh, yard fully maintained. I noticed my grandpa's sprayer is all grown up with weeds and everything. He must've had some problems with spraying this year because usually he always sprays with that sprayer. All the scrap is gone. Just a bunch of trash left. Oh, there's an R8 tire. Look, all bald and everything. Well, the bottom of sinkhole is right up in there. Um, you can tell that no one's been here in a while or that we haven't been here in a while. Oh wait, you can kind of see it through the weeds. Yeah, up in there. So you can see all these pine trees scattered through here. All these pine trees. Uh, we planted those probably like seven years ago now. And they're literally, they got to my shoulder, like they're barely growing. I, I planted them out here seven years ago and they're barely, I was, I was like, oh, it'd be, it'd be like great hunting ground in a few years. I planted them like a decade ago and I'm 23. I planned ahead that much. I was like, you know, when I get older, I'm gonna want better, better pine trees. 10 years old, I was like, I need to get to work planting them pine trees so that I'm on schedule for when I'm 35, but I don't know if they're not really growing. Oh, I see the Jeep here. Look at her. Dude, it doesn't even look like, it looks exactly the same. My dad bought that metal detector for me. It still works. Anyways, that's about it. What is this from? Oh, there's spacers on there still. We left spacers?